Welcome to this video on some of the tricks and tips that I can show you to make your life as a programmer in Java a lot easier. My name's Andy Wicks and I'm going to start off by showing you how to use comments. The simplest form of comment is slash slash. Anything that comes after slash slash is ignored by the compiler, so you can type in anything that you want that makes your life easier and helps you to document what you've done. So this creates a new library class object. And that sort of thing is useful when you're starting in any new language. Putting comments in means that you can go back later and see what it was you did and why and what it is that you need to do to recreate that sort of command. Now that works fine for a line of code and I'm going to show you how that might work with this error that I've created down here. Quite often you create an error and you're not sure why it is. Now in this case I know why it is, but I'm going to pretend that I don't. What I do is highlight the line, Control and C, and then Control and V twice. Oops, I did it three times. Then what you do is you use the comment to comment out one of the lines. That means that I can now play around with the other line as much as I like and make a right mess of it and it doesn't matter because I've still got the original one above. And that's something that you can use quite often. Now in this case what I've done is forgotten to include the import. You'll notice the little light bulb with a red symbol at the side. If you click on that you get a list of things that Java can do for you to correct this error. Usually it's the top one. So add import for Javax Swing J Option Pane. Silly me, I left the import out. So you click on that and that line has now been added to the code up here. The error is gone, so I can delete my comment line. Quite often that's a useful little trick. You'll notice that the error has gone. Now I'm going to introduce some more errors. I'm going to comment out this import and what that will do is generate a whole load of errors throughout the code. And as you can see they're all to do with this calendar object here. Now let's suppose I need to hack around with this. The principle is the same. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste, so control C, control V, but this time now I'm going to use slash star and then sla star slash at the end means that this whole area is commented out. I don't have to do slash slash for each line. And again that's quite useful when you want to debug things. Now I'm just going to get rid of this and obviously we know why that one's wrong so I'm going to delete those and the errors all go away. Debugging code and commenting code are two techniques that you'll have to use a lot. But now let me show you another little trick. Supposing what I want to do is to output some text. I want to use system out. So system out, well that's a fairly easy command, I can type in system out and so on and that should work. But I don't want to do that, that's typing. So what I type in is S out and then hit tab and NetBeans will put it all in for me. I can then type in whatever I want, so hello Andy or variables or whatever I want. Now that system, that having a little shortcut that you type in and then hit the tab key, that can be used with quite a lot of things. And you can find out which of those things by going to help 
and then going to the keyboard shortcuts card, the third item down. Click on that and this is a printable uh, document, it's just a PDF that you can then save and download and it gives you all the little codes for things that you want to do quite often. So for example, f quite often you want for i int equals zero to blah, blah, blah. you type in for i, hit tab and away you go. But there's even better. Yes you can print that out but you can also create your own codes to go in. For example, there is no code in that list for J option pane show message and quite often what you want to do is to print out a message that is just the contents of a variable. What you do there is you go to Tools, Options and then click on the Code Templates now you type in uh, now you hit the new button so what abbreviation do i want so i'm going to have j o p m j o p m j option pane message box okay that's my abbreviation and what do i want to happen then well i want j option pane dot show message dialog open brackets quotation marks obviously want a semicolon at the end but in here that's where I'd like the cursor to be so what I do is I type in dollar curly brackets cursor close curly brackets and that I'm going to click on OK that's now been added so if I now type in J O P M hit tab there's my new J option pane and yes there is an error I'll leave you to sort out why that is Hope this video was useful to you.